Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, and we are back doing another Ixalan Intermediate Swiss Draft League. Choices galore here. Call to the Feast for the Vampires. Probably taking the Pirate's Cutlass because it's colorless, so that still leaves us open to three colors. Perilous Voyage is very good. I love the Wayfinder, the Run of Ground, the Skyblade's decent, but not first pick. I think the first picks are really probably not the Call to the Feast because it's two color. I think we're the real first picks are like Perilous Voyage, Wayfinder, and Pirate's Cutlass, and I think we'll just take the Cutlass because it's colorless, and that's about it. Follow up pick. Hmm. Well, nothing crazy here. We could take the Hoarder, probably take the Hoarder over the Sailor, if anything. And strongest card in the pack is. I don't know, I'm not big on the Arkwell's Bloodfast. Probably just take the Hoarder, I guess. It's a pirate, it's a two drop. And nothing else in here is terribly exciting. I mean, Depths of Desire is sort of removal ramp, so it's okay. May just prefer a two-drop creature, though. I'm not actually sure on that. Hmm. Yeah, probably just take the two-drop creature. They both ramp, but this can also kill. Well, Mark the Vampire is, as we all know, crazy. So I'm going to take that here. Yeah. Never look back. Okay, here we probably take the blood letter. Stays with black. And is a pretty good card in general. I like the Tormentor too, but I'd rather have the Flyer that punishes. Good with Mark, good with Pirate's Cutlass, yeah. Seems like the correct pick. Okay. So now the choices. Well, we have Arsonist. Buccaneer, Looter, March of the Drowned. All of these are acceptable. I'm trying to think which one I like the most. Blue, black, or... I haven't played black, red in a while, but... Just because I haven't played it in a while doesn't necessarily mean... I mean, I actually think the Arsonist plays... Better than I thought it would. Especially if you can ramp into it with, like, a Hoarder. But the looter is a two drop. And as I love to say, you can never really have enough two drops. Hmm. Usually blue is more open than red. I'm going to take the looter. I don't actually know if that's right, but we're going to take the cheap dude here. Okay. So now we can take Sailor and feel fine about that. Where's a cutlass? Well, gives us a little bit of. Some hot treasure action. A little more exciting than a Wind Strider, although Wind Strider is fine. But we want pirates, and we want them cheap. That's what we want. Okay. So now there's Prosperous Pirates, which are fine, and Shaper Apprentice. I mean, we can also easily play Grixis Pirates if we have enough uh, treasure makers here. Shaper Apprentice... It's fine, but I guess we'll take Prosperous Pirates. Well, I love Opt, so I want to take that. I guess we're taking it over Storm Sculptor. That's fine, actually. Not seeing a ton of black now, but the three black cards we have are pretty good. Could take Duress for sideboard. Probably not playing. Well, actually, Costly Plunder is pretty reasonable with all the treasure generator. All right. I convinced myself. Queen's Bay Soldier is a two-drop. Not an exciting one for us, but playable if I need it. All right, we're going to cut the blue card to indicate that we want to play blue. Mm, okay, I guess we can take the Grim Captain's Call. Not going to play it, but we'll continue to cut that black. All right, we want to cut red a little bit, too, because... Grixis Pirates can be a thing. So, not the best start, not the worst start. No removal, which is not great. But, we're still looking okay. I mean, we still have some powerful cards in here. 
we have a theme that we want to do. We have some treasure generators, which should make splashing fairly easy. Go for the revel in riches plan? Probably not, right? I don't think so. Cool, but not what I'm looking for. All right, we can take the air elemental. There's also siren lookout. Air elemental's pretty good, but so is lookout. Explorer, three mana, it's a pirate. Air elemental is a five drop, but it's a big dude. Pretty tempted to still just take the lookout. Keep our curve low. Pick up another cutlass along the way. Find some tempo cards. Get there. We're going to take the lookout. I already kind of don't want to play the soldier or the costly plunder. But we're going to take the cheap thematic flyer. Alright, I'm totally willing to splash Marauding Looter. I think this card is pretty fantastic. It's also a pirate, but pretty easy to splash for the most part, I would think. Otherwise, we could take a Castaway, which is pretty good for this deck, but we might wheel it. There's also a Tormentor. We're going to take the Looter. This is one of the reasons to splash, I would say. Alright, another... Oh, and the Cutlass? Come on. I may want the second Cutlass over the second Mark, actually. Mark is incredible, but... We've got a good pirate theme going, and the cutlasses get pretty crazy in multiples, I'm, I'm sure. So let's just take it. That way we can really focus on the lowest curve you've ever seen, and uh, see what we can do with that. Get all the desperate castaways. Wanted scoundrel, huge pickup. Taking that, over the bloodletter, the cutthroat, the interloper. All of it. All of it. All right, well, we don't really have plus one, plus one counter stuff, but that's fine, because Castaways is actually very good for our deck. We've got plenty of artifact producers at this point, right? Double Cutlass, Sailor... Pro well, I guess we could use some more. Hoarder, too. But we'll take the Castaways, definitely. Castaway into Pirate's Cutlass is pretty, pretty nice, actually. Turn 3, 4, 4, attacking. Maybe we wheel one of these March of the Drown, which should also be very good for us. Um, Shaper Apprentice versus Second Opt. Probably taking the Second Opt, actually. I really do like Opt a lot. And you can play a lot of them. Alright, Run Aground is a great tempo card. We're going to take it over the Heart Stopper. So, I kind of like this deck already. It, it's... I found decks like this to be pretty good for me in the format. The, the old, like, cheap Tempo with value. The cutlasses I consider value. Um, we're going to need some more removal, but we can get there. So Ruthless Knave versus... Di I love Dive Down, but I really like Ruthless Knave too. It kind of seems like something we want with all the... Well, Desperate Castaways I hope to get, but it's also just a pirate for our cutlasses. It's a good card in general. I really like Dive Down too. I can't stress that enough, but... All right, we're just going to cut the black card here. I actually think Queen's Agent's a fine card. I just don't think... Oh, got the Castaways back, which is nice. I think for now, we don't have to consider the Agent. But yeah, let's get another Castaways in there. So we're starting to get there. The game plan's coming together. I guess we'll take another Soldier in case we are hard up for two drops. I don't think we will be, but you never know. Alright, some red cards going late. Not going to splash Pirate, not going to splash any of these. Maybe a dual shot for sideboard. Alright, continue to cut the red. So, white. Trying to indicate to us that white is very open, but we are obviously very far down the Grixis Pirate rabbit hole and no longer interested in anything else so much. So Storm Tamer I've actually found to be very good too. And it also is Pirate. So it flies. Got Double Cutlass, which it's got to be good with. Yeah, I guess we'll take it. Yeah, I found this card to be deceptively good. Much better than I ever expected it to be. And there's nothing else in here for us, so we're taking it. Tempest Caller is also very good. There's a March of the Drown, which I'm hoping we can wheel. But yeah, Tempest Caller is a pretty nuts card. Just tap your team. It's also one with the wind, though. Really powerful effect. Like on a scoundrel. 
But caller is too good because we don't have a lot of evasion, and this just is like, oh, I win. Okay. I love the cards that you just draw, and you're like, oh, win. Cool. I love winning. Uh, spell Swindle, not really that good. Death of Sanction, not really what we're looking for. Hmm. Hmm. Not really looking for any of these, am I? I guess we could take the Spell Swindle. I just don't think that we're going to play any of it. So we could take the Heart Stopper. There is a Raider's Wake, I guess. But not that good. I guess we take the Heart Stopper. It's cheap. It wears a cut list just fine, I guess. Okay, so some decent cards in here. Perilous Voyage, Depths, Prosperous Pirates, and Runner Ground. I guess we'll take the Perilous Voyage. Scry 2 off bouncing something cheap is pretty nice. It bounces anything, remember. It's a little more versatile than Runner Ground. Although Runner Ground is pretty brutal, but I'll probably still fine to take that. Okay, so now we can take the Tormentor. We could splash for a Pious Interdiction. Probably take the Tormentor, though. Another pirate never hurt nobody. So Shaper Apprentice currently have no other... No, that's not true. I guess we have one other merfolk, but maybe we just take the Apprentice anyway, because it potentially can fly. I mean, there's nothing else anyway. All right, fine. Um, Don't really need any of this. I guess we'll take another dual shot. All right, duress for sideboard. Actually, we could take the unknown shore to help splash the looter. Yeah, it's fine, actually. It's not like duress is the most powerful sideboard in the world anyway. Well, we have all these Queen's Bay soldiers, I guess, but no real desire to play them. All right, Sentinel is actually something that may or may not be playable in here, believe it or not. Because... Kind of need some more artifacts. Like we could probably play it over an apprentice. Don't need a second unknown shore. Don't really need the Queen's Agents either. I actually like Queen's Agents. All right, Prosperous Pirates is fine, actually. Hmm, okay. So we can make at least a couple cuts in here. What shall we cut? I guess we can probably cut the Gilded Sentinel and the spell uh, swindle and call it a deck and be okay. You're gone, you're gone, and then we've got Splash for Looter, which I think between an Unknown Shores and how many ways to generate treasure? We've got one, two, three, four, five ways. So we probably still run one mountain. I mean, I have found looter to be pretty good. We don't necessarily have to splash red, though. It's not like we need... We don't need to. There might not be enough incentive. I do think looter is very good, like I said, but... We might not need to splash it. Like, we could just run... Cut the looter and run the spell swindle instead. I really don't think spell swindle is very good. But otherwise, it could run like a queen's agent, which I know doesn't impress a lot of people, but it's probably pretty good with a couple cutlasses in your deck. And that's about it. I don't think spell swindle is all that good. Five mana counter spell with kind of irrelevant ramp. And then maybe just run the queen's agent. Call that a deck? It's probably fine, actually. So, I don't think this deck is broken by any stretch of the imagination, but it's certainly fine. We'll see what we can do with it. So, we'll do probably 8-8 eight, eight split. Because I'm sure we need both early, right? Yeah. Alright. 8-8 eight, eight split. Blue-black pirates. As mentioned, I found it to be a pretty reasonable 
archetypes. So we'll see what we can do with it. We'll see around one.